Okay. 2 7, transparent functions and transformations again. We've done this. So, this should be relatively easy for you guys. Okay, let's skip all the way down to the exercises. One, what type of parent function is that? What's the parent function? Well, it's a straight line. If it's a straight line, I know that's linear. Okay, if it makes a V, if it's a V shape, I know that's absolute value. If it makes a parabola shape, well, I know that's quadratic. So, four, that's what kind of line? It's a straight line. So it's linear. Now, five, five is also a straight line, but there's no slope. You notice it goes across the y at one point. That's our constant, a straight horizontal line. That's our constant function. And again, we have a V shape. If it's a V shape, I know that's absolute value. Okay, let's flip to the back. Now, they want us to describe the transformation. We know if the number is outside of either parentheses, absolute value bars, square root, whatever it is, if it's outside and it's minus, you go down that many numbers. So in this case, it's four. Now look at two, two. The five is inside the absolute value. So you do the opposite. So if it's a plus 5, you're going to go to the left 5. Look at 3. This is a parabola. And you have a minus 3 outside. So that's going to be down 3 again. All right. Now that we see that, let's graph those. I know this is a linear function because you just have an x. If it's an x, I know that's linear. So I have my cheat point of 1, 1, 2, 2 for the x and y's. Now I'm going to go down 4 and we'll go right 1, up 1, right 2, up 2. Now I can make my graph. Same thing with number two. I can use my cheat sheet of one, one, two, two. But there's a difference because there's a reflection on the other side. So let's go down five for a first point. And then it's right one up one, right two up two. And you also got to reflect on the other side. So, left one up one, left two up two. Okay. Now, with three, it's a parabola. So, I know I'm going to use one, one, two, four. So, go down three, and I don't have... 1, 1, 2, 4. Now, 4, it tells us the dilation. Dilation really just means stretch. We have a stretch of 5. stretch of 5 so I don't have a left or right so remember that 1 1 2 2 
you have to multiply that by 5 now. So it's 1, 1, turn to a 1, 5, and 2, 2, turn to a 2, 10. So, but we don't have that. So you can just go the opposite direction. Now, this is a shrink. So, that 1, 1, 2, 2, you have to multiply that by half. Multiplying by half is the same thing as dividing by 2, right? So now that's a half. That turns to 1. Start your center. Right 1, half up. Right 2, 1 up. Now you can do the same thing the opposite side. Got your graph. 6 is a parabola. So that 1, 1, 2, 4, you have a stretch of 2, right? Because there's a 2 in front of there. Times 2. Now, you have a 1, 2, and 2, 8. But 8's outside, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay. And that is it for our lesson for today. See you guys tomorrow.